Well, this is interesting. Yesterday, I, uh, I've had basically, since I bought the camper, it's had pretty weak house batteries. And then I, uh, yesterday I uh, filled all of the uh, cells. There were a couple that were low, but of course the hardest one to get to was uh, totally empty. <laughs> I knew there was gonna be a problem. Well, chances are there would be, because you know, corrosion builds up on a plate when it's uh, dry and it if it boiled so much that it's dry that's an indication that it's a bad battery these things are about six years old and that's about all they last anyway um, and as you can see the main this battery is like pretty pretty bad 112 degrees but uh, this right where the bad cell was we got like 100 and, 158 degrees, jeez. Uh, no wonder the refrigerator and the carbon monoxide alarm was going off. This thing must have been venting hydrogen into the, uh, into the, into the camper. So I hooked up my, my spare house battery that I bought in Arizona. It was like a booster battery, and then, uh, and then I basically. Uh, so I just uh, pushed in the little battery switch, as you can see where the laser is right there. That's actually that's actually a switch. But um, so you push it in, and then the uh, batteries here are cut off. So I'm going to uh, pull the batteries, and I'm thinking I'm going to upgrade to six volt, two six volt batteries in series, and I can get more amp hours and a deeper cycle more of a deep cycle effect out of these. I'll have to rearrange the cables a bit. Easy, easily done. So, oh well, more delays, because this camper isn't going anywhere like this. Alrighty. <laughs> this is just an interesting, uh, interesting problem with the house batteries. So, yeah, and of course, when you fill the batteries, you know, you should fill all of them instead of just the easy ones to reach to. <laughs> Silly. Okay. And don't get married. <laughs>